Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing like a chatty get ready with me on this little look. Uh, it's my second day at work at Ulta. So I just decided to film myself getting ready for work today. Um, yeah, I was gonna film an intro in the beginning but then my camera wasn't recording and then it was just a hot mess. So here's your intro. Hope you guys like it. I'm just talking about kind of some random BS. Um, please let me know if you want to see more of these and any specific topics you want me to talk about and yeah That's kind of it. So if you want to see how I got this look, I won't really be telling you but I'll be showing you at least um, And just hear my random rambling bullshit then just keep on watching. I don't know why my camera just literally recorded nothing from the entire first part of this video that I just talked about. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna be using today my James Charles palette because I haven't used it in a while. I'm going to be using the Ladybird eyeshadow from Colourpop and She's All That pigment from Peaches. I'm using my usual e.l.f. liner and mascara and then some AliExpress lashes that I've used on my channel before and yeah that's pretty much it. So um what I was talking about before my camera decided it wasn't going to be recording was my Jaclyn Hill order of my palette is going to be here either today or tomorrow, which is cool. It was a lot faster this time. Last time I ordered, my order didn't like ship out until like people were already starting to get their orders in the mail. Um, and mine hadn't even shipped at that point, you know? So I'm happy it shipped faster, but this time I was literally, it was supposed to launch at nine on the site. And I went on the site at like 9.57 and, or sorry, at 8.57. It was already up. So I just snagged that palette. Um, I've been using, I know I mentioned in like the review how I was like unsure about the loose powder. So I've used it kind of like I mentioned I would try using it by kind of setting my face first and then using that as sort of like a all over topper. And yeah, it's definitely better, but I would say it's definitely my biggest kind of regret purchase because it's better, but still not like awesome you know what i'm saying like it's still not wowing me so i definitely had i known that's how it would perform i definitely wouldn't have bought it for sure so if you were on the fence just being honest that's how i feel packaging is nice and everything but it just doesn't give me the look i thought it was going to you know so i'm just kind of like meh about it um so I also mentioned when I apparently wasn't recording that this look is inspired by this amazing Instagrammer that one of my subscribers uh, sent me the link to her page the other day. And um, I really appreciate when you guys send me people because you guys know I love being like inspired by new looks and stuff. I feel like that's the whole point of YouTube is an Instagram, especially, you know, beauty Instagram is people posting stuff for to inspire other people, you know? So um, I'll put a picture right here of the look I was inspired by. So this isn't perfectly a recreation, but it basically is, it's like pretty close. And um, yeah, her looks are insane. Like so beautiful, it's crazy. So I highly recommend you go follow her. She's one of those people where too, where you like see some people have like so many followers or whatever and they're just posting the most basic of basic boring content that everyone else posts and then you see someone like her who's literally perfect <laughs> and like amazing and talented and has such so much less followers you know what I'm saying it's like weird I don't know how I feel about I don't know it's Instagram in general I just feel like you know and I've heard other people say this 
but I really feel it now that kind of a lot of people look exactly the same. It's so fucking boring. Like I'm tired of seeing, I don't know, posy outfit of the day pictures and where you were in the same exact, you know, clothes as every other Instagrammer out there and posting the same type of pictures as every other Instagrammer out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I've always been like, I think the kind of person that like bugs me like to see people sort of just like doing the same thing. And you know, it's one of those things where I kind of feel very proud of myself that I could have done all that stuff if I wanted to have maybe more followers. But it's so fake sometimes, like the fake, you know, very instant influencer kind of vibe. And I'd rather be happy that I didn't do that and have less followers. And that's fine with me. Or the same with like doing tutorials and stuff. I could have done stupid challenge videos. And not, I, okay, I'm not gonna say stupid because some people find them really funny and I've watched them before. But I could have slipped into that just to ride the wave of what's popular. But I'm happy I didn't and just stay true to like what I like. And yeah, I think Christy, Ruby Christy, I was watching a video of hers the other day and she was talking about that with her views too and how like she wasn't gonna change and be like a typical influencer just for views. And um, the whole time she was talking, I was like, oh my God, bitch. I literally feel exactly the same way about everything she was saying. It's just, I don't know. It's not worth it to me to get like popular, to do a bunch of crap I don't like and put on this like facade, you know? Like, have you guys ever, literally ever seen a full like body OOTD picture from me on Instagram, like posed in some like cute little area? Like, no, I don't know, it's just not me. Like I, I came to the beauty community because of makeup, which I feel like a lot of people did. And I don't know, it's kind of just like what I want to stay true to doing, you know? And it's not that I think it's wrong for other people to post like outfit pictures or whatever. But it's just kind of weird when they all look exactly the same and they're dressed the same and it's this whole vibe and it's just sort of boring, you know? It's just bores me. And sorry I'm talking so low, but Lily and Shane are still sleeping. It's like five something in the morning right now I'm getting ready, so um, they're still sleeping and I'm trying not to be too loud. some Estee Lauder double wear. If you guys notice, my neck is kind of darker than my face. I put on a little bit of fake tan so I didn't look like a pale ass bitch. So I, my foundation is like a little darker than my face, but as you can see, and once I blend it in, it's all good. Matches my neck. So yeah, I feel like if I'm ever like, I don't know, wanting to like, I don't know. I feel like I really enjoy listening to Christy talk about like her opinions on the makeup industry and stuff. I feel like we are like the same person. I feel like I'm her best friend. <laughs> um, and we just sort of have a very similar thought process on a lot of stuff in the beauty community. So I always love watching her kind of videos talking about that kind of stuff and like her take on it because 
I just sit there the whole time like, yeah, 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 exactly, you know? So, quite a few of you guys have been continuing to message me and stuff saying, you know, please do the skincare video. I'm definitely going to do it, I promise. Um, I just wanna make sure it's like the right time. And I already have like a bunch of other video ideas kind of going through my head for other things I'm doing. So, I just have to find, you know, the right time to film it. In case you were wondering about my um, uh, puppy situation, I posted on Instagram a little while back, like a story about like how she was biting my daughter and she was just bad in general and everything. Um, but it was definitely just part of the puppy phase. She doesn't really bite anymore. It was just sort of like nibbling. It wasn't even like attack, like crazy biting. Some people told me to like put her down and send her to a shelter. I was like, okay, maybe I didn't word that right because it's not like she was like literally, you know, showing her teeth attack, you know? She would just sort of play with Lily like she was another puppy, you know? Like more rough, but not like super aggressive. Um, anyway, so she stopped biting for the most part at this point. Um, she really only nibbles on my hands at this point. Like, is she sitting with me? So that's good. Um, like the only other thing she's doing right now that drives me nuts, but she's getting better, is she'll still have some accidents sometimes in the house. As long as we're really good about taking her out, she won't, but it still happens every once in a while but that's also getting way better. I think the only other thing is she's just eating everything, like toys, Daisy. She'll eat like Lily's toys all the time. She'll also take them from her. Like she will literally like run up on Lily and just grab her toy out of her hand and run away. And Lily will just cry, obviously, cause she's a toddler. Um, and I've looked online about stopping that behavior, but from a lot of things I've read, it's harder because she's a basset hound. And because hounds are like, were literally bred to, you know, grab things, you know, grab animals off the ground um, and stuff and carry them around in their mouth. They're harder to train, I guess, to not do that <laughs> and not grab things and want to carry them around in their mouth because it's just part, I guess, of their genetics at this point, that that's like a trait. So they said it can be a lot harder training hound dogs, um, which is annoying. But yeah, she's mellowing out a lot. I'm about to get her fixed. She's almost six months. She will be in like a couple days. So I'm gonna get her fixed like in the beginning of January. Cause obviously Christmas time is not the best time. <laughs> for figuring out a time to do that, especially since I started working in retail again. Um, so, I, I, and I'm pretty sure once I get her fixed, she'll like mellow out a lot too. So I've already, I've been working literally one day. Like I'm getting ready for my second day and I'm already noticing back to my old shit of, oh my God, when am I gonna find time to film and record and edit videos? because I have a couple videos pre-filmed, like three. One of them is almost fully edited that I, what, today's Tuesday I'm filming this. It needs to go up today. I work eight to five, so I'm literally gonna have to come home, make dinner, and then immediately finish editing it. So it's gonna go up really late tonight, actually. Um, but I'm already noticing like, it's just hard when you like go to work full time and then I have to come home and uh, make dinner and then I have to get Lily ready for bed. I wanna actually see her so I hang out with her for a little bit and then I'm putting her to bed and then by that time it's like 8.30 or so. I wanna take a shower and then at that point I'm like, Bitch, I'm tired. I wanna go to bed. And so then I wanna go to bed, but 
I need to edit or something, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really just gonna have to like force myself to not go to bed so early. And I know I can because to be completely honest, like when I go to bed every night, usually every night, I'm in the bed where like got like a movie on or something. And I will look at my phone for like at least an hour probably before I actually fall asleep. So there are no excuses. Like I could just take that time instead of looking at my phone and come into my office and actually, you know, edit something instead. So that's gonna be just like a behavior of mine that I'm going to have to be on my shit, you know? I'm not gonna be able to make excuses or be lazy because I'm gonna want to, but I know like I can't, I need to be better. I think I'm gonna use this color, not the green, <laughs> this color in the James Charles palette for my highlight today. I like using this color as highlight, it's beautiful. So stinking pretty. I mentioned in my last video I recorded that I got a monitor finally. My old camera didn't have, oh my God, Daisy keeps laying on my lights. Uh, didn't have the functionality to like, um, have like a HDMI cord to where you could like hook it up to a TV or something or a computer screen so you could see the screen, but like huge, you know? It didn't have that, so I never had a monitor before, but now my new camera does have that feature, so I just got like a cord the other day, and I don't have any computer monitors because I just have an Apple uh, desktop computer. Um, so I had a TV in the basement, so here we are. I have a, literally a giant TV right here. It's so excessive, but it is so much easier to make sure like you can see everything and the colors are good and the light's good and all that stuff. All right, so I put on my brows. I'm not really dramatic today with my brows because why not? Okay, so I'm going to douse myself in some Morphe setting mist really quick. And I'm gonna put on my lip and we will be done. I'm gonna do a boring nude lip, guys. I know, it's boring, but I can't help myself. And it's just easier to touch up with you know, throughout the day at work. Also, I finally got a fan. I've seen so many people use these little fans to dry their face when they put on their mist. And I've always just literally had to take a palette or something and go like fan myself. So I found that on Amazon. It was like, it was so cheap. It was like, I think seven bucks or something. And it comes with like a little, um, USB charger to charge it. You just like charge it in the wall. It's not batteries, which is awesome. So yeah, I really like it. All right, so I'm just gonna do, like I said, a boring nude lip. you're wondering this is mac oak lip pencil with mac um modesty lipstick a really pretty kind of neutral brownie pinky nudie my usual moment um but yeah that is it hope you guys enjoyed the video and this kind of like chatty little moment if you want me to continue doing these let me know and let me know of any topics you want me to talk about in these videos and yeah i will see you next time bye